One and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. You put your yeast and your sugar in your warm water. It says the water should be 110 degrees. Half teaspoon of sugar. Let that sit and bubble. One eighth cup of honey. You're going to need one egg, two and one fourth cup of flour, a half teaspoon of salt, one eighth cup of margarine. One eighth cup of margarine is two tablespoons. Stir that margarine into your warm milk along with um, you add your honey, margarine, and salt into your warm milk. Half teaspoon of salt. Stir until margarine is melted. Okay, stir in your, your honey. Now stir that all together. And by now it's cooled off. You're going to need two and one fourth cups of flour. Add your egg. And your milk mixture. Um, see how bubbly it got? Nice and bubbly. Add that in there too. This makes like eight pad, eight uh, flatbread things. Now then, mix that up until it becomes, uh, if it looks real wet, add a little bit more flour. It's pretty. Keep adding just a little bit at a time until it gets to where I can knead it. That's looking better, but I think I'll put just maybe a tablespoon more in. Just get it. I don't want it real wet. It picks up all the wet dough and makes it all. Um, get a bowl so it'll rise in it. Spray a little spray. So, just dump it out. Okay, just put some flour on it until you feel like it's not sticky and knead it. It's not very sticky really. It was sticky getting it out of the bowl, but not now. Okay, see how nice and smooth it is? I didn't knead it a long time, maybe one or two minutes. Um, it says put it in the bowl, oil it and cover it and let it sit until it doubles in size. I just set it in the microwave with uh, two cups of hot steaming water in there. Not turned on, just to be nice and warm in there. And it has risen all the way to the top of my bowl. And this is a big glass bowl. Biggest one I have. Just take a baggie and cut it down the sides and open it up for your press. Or you can just put some in and roll it out with a rolling pin. Take a piece of dough kind of like just grab it off here. Like that big. You put it over here. You might want it bigger. I don't know. We'll try it out here. You put it on your little press. Not in the middle, toward the end. Fold up your thing. And I got this at the grocery store, so I don't know where else they sell these. Now, you just press it out, and then I want it a little bit flatter, so I'm just going to roll it out. An eighth of an inch thick. It does puff up when you cook it. Just like that. Then you just heat up your griddle. This is how I get it off the plastic. 
I'm going to just hold it in my hand, pull it off, and then just put this one over a little bit. It's very thin, but it puffs up. There. That one came out nice. That one should be done. just for a little bit longer. And then I have one of these tortilla keepers. It keeps it nice and hot. You know what? I have a minute timer and I think that it does really well on a minute on each side actually. I ended up with nine pieces of uh, gyro bread. 